Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to present to you my new course that I released on LaravelDaily.com, the course's website, which is about filament. That's why I'm shooting this on this channel, Filament Daily, instead of the main Laravel Daily. So, visual customizations of filament. This is a mini course with four lessons, and in this video I will show you briefly a few main points from each of the lesson. The link to the full course will be in the description below. It is available for premium members of Laravel Daily website, where you can find more than 60 courses at the moment about Laravel and related topics such as filament. Filament is one of the popular Laravel topics. But in this course, we're talking about visual customizations because one of the main drawbacks or one of the main criticism of filament is lack of visual customization. So when you see a filament dashboard, you will immediately recognize that it's filament, right? There are almost no available ready-made themes that would completely customize the look and feel, but still there are quite a few things that we can customize and I've tried to compile all of that in four lessons. The first lesson is about render hooks. There are 56 render hooks at the moment and I will show a few of them. Then lesson two is about global settings like colors and logo and stuff like that. Then we can style some dashboard widgets and also we can customize the form layouts and I've gathered a few open source examples. So let's take a look at some of them in this free video even for those of you who will not read the full course. So the first lesson is about render hooks. The official documentation of render hooks lists 56 possible render hooks where you can add customized HTML or whatever code in some place of your filament dashboard. But the problem with the documentation that it doesn't show visual examples. So this is what we try to do in this course, gather visual examples for more popular use cases of render hooks. So for example, what if you want to add a button somewhere here in the login form, before the form or after the button? So the example of that is render hook called auth login form before, where it can render any blade. For example, this example comes from a package called Spotty Login, so you can add a link above the form. Similarly, there's render hook after the form, auth login form after, for example, for buttons of developer login or sign in with GitHub, for example. So yeah, the first lesson of this course showcases various render hooks of filament. The second lesson is about global customizations. For example, if you want to make filament look more like your brand, it's pretty limited in terms of filament customizations. And the most typical example is actually at the end of this lesson. It's about customizing the colors. So filament has six kind of default predefined color constants like danger, gray, info, primary, success, and warning, which defines most of the components and their color. So we can override them in the panel provider and it may look slightly differently. So this is the default and this is how it would look with new slightly darker colors. So in this way you can customize colors, fonts, icons and general elements like that. The third lesson of this course is about dashboard widgets and for that we need to create custom theme where we define a lot of CSS styles, tailwind styles to apply to various dashboard widgets. An example I want to show you is customizations of these charts. So this is how it looks by default in the official actually filament demo and then step by step we add our own CSS. So in the theme CSS of our new custom theme, first we use fi dash classes of filament. There are a lot of fi dash classes and that's the point, that's the main way to customize them. So you apply whatever classes you want, for example, flex here. Then the next step is colors with gradient like this. Then the next step is customizing that widget from the class. So color white in both of those charts like this and then we remove the legend. That's also one of the customization options for widget. So then we have this, no legend. And the final step, as I remember, fill false and border color in both of those. And this is the final result. So step by step, you customize the dashboard widgets, both with CSS Tailwind styles and from the class of filament itself. And the final lesson in this mini course is about customizations of form layouts, which is also a pretty typical use case. And I've gathered four real life examples from open source projects. And I want to show one of those examples. It comes from tiny CRM. What if you want to divide your form into two sections with one section being bigger than another? So this is kind of a sidebar, kind of for a blog article or 
other form which is more divided into like main section and secondary section. So in the form method all you need to do is divide the schema into section make one part then that is the main section and then you define column span to here and then another section make with the sidebar with column span one and you define for the main form that we have columns three. This is just a simple example but you can customize the forms in the way you want with filament classes like section, grid, tabs and others. So yeah if you want the full course the link will be in the description below and let me ask you what are your customization examples, visual customizations or maybe you have questions about it like what elements would you like to style and how exactly maybe I will shoot separate videos on those. And final note I'm planning to update that course as soon as Filament 4 comes out. Maybe Filament 4 will have more customization options or more features around that, we'll see. And this is partially the reason why we're doing text-based courses on Laravel daily because they're easier to customize, update and fix if something is missing. So also if you have any comments about the course we should be quick to update and fix it based on your feedback. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.